The equilibrium of NO2 gas and N2O4 is dynamic. That is, even though the macroscopic partial pressures aren't changing at equilibrium and you don't see a ch color change, microscopically the molecules are interchanging. N2O4 dimers are breaking down to form NO2 and NO2 monomers are forming N2O4. The dynamic nature of that equilibrium allows the equilibrium to adjust if there's a change in the system. And it does so in a logical way. There's a principle called Le Chatelier's principle that says a system in equilibrium subjected to a stress will move, react in a way to reduce that stress. So let's look at that. Here's the system in equilibrium as I have it here. If you double the volume, so increase the volume suddenly, the partial pressures will fall by a factor of two. Twice the volume, half the pressure. Same number of particles. But now it's not at equilibrium anymore. In fact, Q will be greater than K. And you can prove that to yourself by putting in one half the partial pressures for the equilibrium quotient expression. So Q greater than K, the reaction will shift back to favor the reactants so that Q can again equal K. So you'll have a change in pressure, and what you'll have is a shift towards the reactants in this case so that Q again will equal K. Now, what you'll have is a different partial pressure of NO2 and a different partial pressure of N2O4 than you started here. But the quotient, the reaction at equilibrium, has the same value. So two different numbers in the expression that give the same quotient value for K. What you'll notice here is you could have thought of this another way. The system expanded and went to a larger volume. So the system wants to expand to fill that volume. Well, how does the system expand to fill that volume? It goes to the side where there are more particles. If some of these particles dissociate, it can fill the volume more effectively. So I shift towards the sides with more particles when I go to larger volume. So this is an example of Le Chatelier's principle where a system moves in response to stress and reestablishes equilibrium.